Today, I would like to show you something a little special. When I was in school, one of my assignments just happened to be to create a fighting game. For those of you who don't know, I have a degree in software engineering with a minor specialization in game design. So for one of my classes, he made us basically create a really simple version of Street Fighter 2. But me living alone and having nothing else better to do spent basically every hour of my free time adding to the project. So by the time I turned the project in, it was actually quite a bit more than what he wanted. It was specifically designed for people who had never coded before. And so I'd like to play that game for you right now. It's not much. Don't expect much. Two characters. Ah, my ears! And we're gonna look at Makoto first. Oh yeah, I don't have one player support, so I have to kind of guess at what key I need to press here. Player 2 light punch is numpad 4. <laughs> and we have a bunch of stages uh, that are all different resolutions. One of them looks ridiculous. It's this one. <laughs> this one looks ridiculous, so I'm going to pick this one. It's like weird tiny. The grass is taller than, than the characters on the screen. But yeah, this is, this is the game. Some of the animations look dopey. This thing, which like teleports. But I have jumping, I have dashing. And I have command normals. I have forward light punch, forward medium punch. I have special cancels, although they look kind of funny. And I have Hayate cancels. Time over. So apparently if we dash into each other, there we go. If, if we dash into each other at the same time, we can pass through each other. So that's one bug. Let me switch to Chun-Li. So Chun Li has a charge fireball and a charge spitting bird. Except you, there's no pre-jump frames yet, which means you have to hit up and kick on the same frame. Otherwise, it doesn't work. And she has Yoshiaku, which you can use this to get some crazy combos. And in fact, I even put in a little trial mode into the manual I sent him. So the first combo I sent him for Chun Li was was this. God, I can't even do it. No input buffer, by the way. And I also put in Hazanshu. Like that. And got her command normal. Which links into stuff. Oh, and also I put in cross-up detection. Cross-up detection is whenever you hit the opponent while facing away from them. Oh, that's a bug. Let's play on a KOF stage. The last big thing in this version is that you can view hitboxes and collisions with dev keys. So green is your heart box, blue is your collision box, and red is the hitbox of your attacks. And I will say, setting up hitboxes is extremely, extremely, extremely easy to do in Game Maker Studio. I actually made a second version, and the reason I made a second version was because he was so impressed by how stupidly in-depth I went with the first one that he was like, hmm, how about we change your final? So this was my final project for an introduction to game design course several years ago. Button config. Player 1, press start. There we go. And for player 2, if I press start, it skips it. Because I press start on the same controller. And so... <laughs> because I'm on single player mode, I now control player 2 with the same controller that I control player 1. See, the resolution's a lot bigger, and I made changes to the jumping, so now you have three different jump arcs. Your back jump is quite slow and goes really high, your neutral jump goes really short and is really fast, and your forward jump somewhere in between. Your dashes are now done by pressing buttons, and just like KOF, you have forward plus punch to throw the opponent, and this attack is indeed unblockable. And in fact, I can show this if I go to practice mode. Oh, here's something I took from Skullgirls. You don't tap the pause button to pause the game. You have to hold it down for 30 frames. So here are the dummy options. You can set it to crouch or jump or whatever, cause them to block automatically. Also, it tells you who paused in the top left corner. And apparently if he's on auto-block, he will also automatically tech throws. 
But anyway, what's this overdrive thing? Well, the overdrive meter is the thing at the bottom of the screen, the bottom corners. So my overdrive is one in the bottom left. And in short, what this allows you to do is it allows you to do two special moves at once. So I reworked Makoto's special moves such that they overlap with their motions. So I changed her overhead to be quarter circle forward and kick. Now what you can do is you can do quarter forward plus heavy punch and light kick and you'll perform both attacks at the same time. So if I turn off my overdrive refill, you can see it takes a certain amount of meter. But also notice that the meter is not evenly separated into sections. The sections at the far end are smaller than the sections at the base, which means that the more meter you have, the less meter you spend on performing these double special moves. And this works with both pairs, which means that you can choose where to end up. So if you use light punch plus heavy kick, you will end up doing the kick special move. But if you do heavy punch plus light kick, you will end up doing the punch special move. And I kept Fukuyage in, which is DP forward and punch. And I added in a DP forward and kick move, which is this little projectile thing. Great graphics. This is what I turned in for my final project in introduction to game design. Pretty whack. But this is the main thing I focused on during that semester. Now, it's been several years since then. I have since gone through the rest of my degree, and I know a lot more about programming now than I did back then. And so what I'd like to do is I'd like to do another series of videos of me actually making a more in-depth fighting game, or more specifically how to make fighting games in general. Not using Game Maker, but using Unity. And I was thinking about doing that anyway, so I figured, well, what if I just do it on camera? So let me know what you guys think about me making tutorial videos for how to make a fighting game using the Unity engine. Anyway, I'm gonna stop writing now, so Guild Ghost Drive comes out mm, in about 20 hours.